Dear students, now we are going to discuss TM waves in circular waveguide and derive its field equations. TM means transverse magnetic waves. TM waves are the waves in which the magnetic field is entirely transverse along the direction of propagation. Okay, hence it is called as transverse magnetic waves. If you are going to consider the wave is traveling in the z direction, then the magnetic field in that direction is transverse. That means zero. But it has the electric field. Okay, that is E z is not equal to zero. This is the condition for TM waves. Okay, H z is equal to zero and E z is not equal to zero if the wave is traveling in the z direction. Okay. So next we are going to derive the field components of this TM waves. We have already derived the general field components of electromagnetic waves in circular waveguide. We are going to use those field equations. From that we are going to get the TM waves field equations. Okay. So these all are the field components of electromagnetic waves in circular waveguide. E rho is equal to minus j omega mu by h square dou h z by rho dou phi minus gamma by h square dou e z by dou rho h rho is equal to j omega epsilon by h square dou e z by rho dou phi minus gamma by h square dou h z by dou rho okay so then e phi is equal to j omega mu by h square dou h z by dou rho minus gamma by h square dou e z by rho dou phi and here h phi is equal to minus j omega epsilon by h square dou e z by dou rho minus gamma by h square dou h z by rho dou phi. So this all are the field components of electromagnetic waves in circular waveguide. Okay for TM waves we are going to substitute h z is equal to 0 in this four equations to get the TM field components okay then we can get the expressions as E rho is equal to minus gamma by h square dou E z by dou rho that is the first equation similarly h rho is equal to j omega epsilon by h square dou E z by rho dou phi E phi is equal to minus gamma by h square dou E z by rho dou phi and h phi is equal to minus j omega epsilon by h square dou E z by dou rho. So this all are the field components for TM waves. So in the next step we are going to substitute the value of E z. Okay. So here we have already derived the value of this E z field component of EM waves in circular waveguide using Bessel's function. Right. So here E z value is equal to A n j n of rho h cos n phi. Here Jn of rho h is nothing but the Bessel's function and here n is any root value or integer, okay. An is the constant value. So here this Ez component depends on the values of rho and phi. So here rho is the radius and phi is the phase angle, okay. So now we are going to substitute this Ez value in the above equations, okay. So first we are going to find out the value of this E rho. Okay. So here E rho is equal to minus gamma by h square dou by dou rho of E z value is A n j n of rho h cos n phi. Okay. So here A n and cos n phi these two are independent of this rho we can take it outside. We are going to differentiate with respect to rho. Okay. So in this one we can take this h as a constant value then the differentiation of this j n of rho h is nothing but h into j n dash of rho h okay this j n dash dash represents what the first order differentiated value here this gamma is equal to j beta as we all know that gamma is equal to what alpha plus j beta gamma means propagation constant it is the combination of attenuation constant and phase shift constant. So here in this TM waves attenuation becomes zero. It has only the imaginary part. Okay. We can write gamma is equal to j beta. So here we can divide this h and 
h squared value then we can get the value as 0 is equal to minus j beta by h a n j n dash of rho h cos n phi consider this as the fifth equation okay next we are going to find out the value of h rho h rho is equal to j omega epsilon by h squared do by rho do phi of e z value is a n j n of rho h cos n phi. So here we are going to differentiate with respect to phase angle phi. Then we can take this a n and j n of rho h outside. We are going to differentiate this cos n phi. Correct. Then we can get the value as minus sin n phi into n. This can be written like this minus j omega epsilon n by h squared rho a n j n of rho h sin n phi. Consider this as the sixth equation. Okay. So next we are going to find out e phi value. So here e phi is equal to minus gamma by h square dou by rho dou phi of e z. So e z value is a n j n of rho h cos n phi. Here we are going to differentiate with respect to phi. So we can take this a n j n of rho h outside. Differentiation of cos n phi is nothing but minus sin phi into n. Then we can get the value as minus into minus plus. As I told you earlier, gamma is equal to what? J beta. So this gamma is replaced with the value J beta n by h squared rho a n j n of rho h sin n phi. Okay. So this is the value of E phi. Okay. Next the last field component h phi is equal to minus j omega epsilon by h square dou by dou rho of a n j n of rho h cos n phi. So here we are going to differentiate with respect to rho. Okay. So we can take this a n and cos n phi outside. Differentiation of this j n of rho h we can write h into j n dash of rho h. Then we can divide this value. Okay. We can get the answer as h phi is equal to minus j omega epsilon by h a n j n dash of rho h cos n phi. Do you all understand this one? So consider this as the eighth equation. Next we are going to discuss the relation between field components. So first we are going to take the relation between e phi and h rho. For that we can divide the seventh equation by sixth equation. E phi value is j beta n by h squared rho a n j n of rho h sin n phi divided by h rho value is minus j omega epsilon n by h squared rho a n j n of rho h sin n phi. Then we can simplify this term. We can get the answer as here the value is what minus beta by omega epsilon. So the ratio of E phi to H rho is equal to minus beta by omega epsilon. Okay. So here the ratio of electric field to magnetic field is known as wave impedance. Okay. So the same way we can get the value of E rho by H phi. So it is in the proper direction. So it can be represented like this E rho by H phi. Fifth equation is minus j beta by h a n j n dash of rho h cos n phi. And here eighth equation is minus j omega epsilon by h a n j n dash of rho h cos n phi. Then we can simplify all the terms here. We can get the answer as beta by omega epsilon. So this is the wave impedance for this TM waves. Do you all understand this? So from this relation we can get the value of this E phi is equal to minus beta by omega epsilon multiplied with this H rho. Similarly we can get this E rho is equal to beta by omega epsilon multiplied with H phi. Okay. So next the instantaneous field components of TM waves. We have just derived the field components of TM waves. Here it is instantaneous field components. Instantaneous means with respect to time. So here we are going to multiply all the field components with the term e power minus j of omega t minus beta z. These all are the instantaneous field components of TM waves. Okay. So next the dominant mode of TM waves. For TM waves TM01 is the dominant mode. Dominant mode means what? 
the mode which is having the lowest cutoff frequency that is known as dominant mode. For TM waves, TM01 is the dominant mode which is having the lowest cutoff frequency. So in this TM waves, the electric field is in the outward direction. Okay, so this is the cross-sectional view of this TM waves. Okay, next we are going to discuss the possible TM modes in circular waveguide. As we know that for TM waves, HZ is equal to 0 and EZ is not equal to 0. Here we are going to use boundary conditions which are required for vanishing the EZ value at the surface of the guide. Okay. So here we can take the condition as the Bessel's function JN of HA is equal to 0. Here A represents the radius of the guide. So whenever the row value is equal to A, then we can get JN of HA is equal to 0 here. Okay. So the number of possible TM waves depends on the number of roots of JN of HA. Here the first few roots of Bessel functions are given. HA of 0, 01 is equal to 2.405. HA of 1, 1 is equal to 3.85. HA of 0, 02 is equal to 5.52. And HA of 1, 2 is equal to 7.02. So here this suffix value. Okay. So this two represent N and M values. Okay. So here if it is 0, 01, then it is TM01 mode. Okay. So 1, 1 means TM11. 0 to means TM02. Here 1 to means TM12. It is in the ascending order. Okay.